top crunch. Okay, let me show you what it looks like and then we'll go over how you do it. All right, so what am I doing? You're on the ground. You're gonna bring your feet up and glue those knees and feet together and create a nice tabletop, right? Someone could put something right here and eat off of a plate or something, right? If um, I raise my legs up, they can no longer do that, right? I want those legs nice and down so you have that nice flat surface. From here, something I hear about when people do crunches is that their neck hurts. We don't want your neck to hurt. We want you to use your abs to raise your body off the ground, not your neck. So how do we do that? So there's that, always that natural arch there. I really want you to tuck your pelvis down and you should feel your core get a little tight, right? That's what's going to help lift you off the ground. So relax, tilt that pelvis, round that back, and now lift up and come down. You should have felt it right there in your abs, right? So. Tilt that pelvis down, round your back, lift, and come up, okay? If you're somebody who feels this movement in their neck, I want you to break it down like that for every single rep. Don't go rep, 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 because your core is gonna start getting tired and your neck is gonna start hurting. So, here we go. Knee, feet together, knees together. I'm going to, when I say tilt my pelvis, I literally mean tilt it down, right? Bring my hips to the ground. Everything's together. So tilt my pelvis, flex my core, lift. Relax, tilt, flex, lift. Okay, that is your tabletop crunch.